हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सीमा सिंह वी विल स्टार्ट आवर न्यू चैप्टर क्लास सेवन चैप्टर वन वेन वेयर एंड हाउ सो स्टूडेंट टाइम फ्रेम ऑफ हिस्ट्री द स्टडी ऑफ हिस्ट्री हैज लॉन्ग बीन कैरड अंडर थ्री डिफरेंट लेवल और पीरियड्स एंशियंट मेडिवल एंड मॉडर्न इन वेरियस पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ईच पीरियड कवर सेवरल सेंचुरीज The medieval period is the period that follows between the ancient and the modern periods. In India, the medieval period is considered to be the time period from the 8th century to 18th century AD. It is generally divided into two periods: the early medieval period between 8th and 12th century AD and the later medieval period between 13th and 18th century ad in the early medieval period the palas the pratiharas the rashtrakutas the cholas and early rajput ruled in india in the later medieval period the turk who later established the delhi sultanate various regional kingdoms and mughal largely dominated the fate of history some features of the medieval period during these thousands years the society of the subcontinents were transferred and economics in several regions reached a le- level of prosperity number 1 sufficient historical material is available as compared to the ancient period number 2 the rise of the bhakti and the sufi movements number 3 the foundation of mughal empire by babur in 1526 ad number 4 the rise of the Mara- marathas and the sikhs number 5 economic prosperity attracted european countries to establish trade relations with india number 6 independence of several provincial kingdoms in the eastern as well as peninsula india terms used for indian subcontinent the indian subcontinents have been a distinct geographical unit it comprises of six other countries afghanistan pakistan nepal bangladesh bhutan and myanmar india has been referred to by various names during different periods of history from aryavarta to bharatvarsham to hindustan but the term hindustan did not carry the same meaning during the medieval period the rulers in the sultanat and mughal period called their indian dominion centered around delhi as hindustan in the early 16th century babur used the term hindustan to describe the geography the fauna and the culture of the inhabitants of subcontinents in the 19th century Hindustan as used in English refer to the northern region of India between the Indus and the Brahmaputra and between the Himalayas and Vindhyas in particular hence the term hindustani was used for Hind- hindi urdu language the constitution of bharat shall be a union of state today these three terms are used inter to refers to the political and national entity that is identified as india influence of geography on history a country's geography mountains rivers forest influence its history we cannot understand the history of any country without knowing its geography India comprises of five broad geographical divisions the Himalayas the Indo-Gangetic plains the Thar desert the Deccan plateau and finally the peninsular coast during the medieval period we find that the desire to control the rivers and the land between two rivers such as Ganga and the Yamuna or the Godavari and the Tugrabhadra led to many wars between various power 
the discovery of gold and diamonds led to a tussle in golconda region which produced an amazing collection of huge diamonds so the vindhyas and the satpura mountains check the easy movement of the turk into the deccan and south sources of history historians depend on a variety of sources to learn about the past depending upon the period of their study source material provide us with reliable information about the events that happens in the past the medieval period has good examples of written records of history which gives us better insight into the period literary sources literary sources is one of the distinct features of the medieval period which increased noticeably during this period the early writing was done mostly on palm leaves from the 13th century onwards paper began to be used by writing and as such a number of books appeared the literary sources include the following autobiographies or memoirs the memoirs of babar and jahangir were autobiographical accounts of their period biography and chronicles various authors wrote chronicles about the life and activities of various rulers and dynasties for example kalan in the 12th century wrote raj tarangani which is an account of the rulers of kashmir kumar pal charitya was keshmandra and prithviraj raso by chandvardai or also historical accounts of the medieval period number 3 illustrated literary work several literary works by indigenous writers were also brought out these literary works include autobiographies and memoirs like tuzg ai babri ain e akbari etc these are illustrated with beautiful paintings called the manishas painting importance of foreign travelers some of the most important accounts of medieval india are provided by the visiting foreigners islamic accounts travelers from abroad give us interesting information regarding the political social and economic condition in medieval india al biruni's account of india during sultanat sultan mohammad ghazni concluded in his kitab ul hind is considered to be the finest foreign account of medieval india morocco polo passed through some part of southern india on his way from china to persia and had left a very interesting narrations of social manners and customs of south india the best known foreigners who visited india during the pre mughal period were a moroccan ibn battuta and italian Niccolo Conti who who visited Vijayanagar around 1294 AD foreign travelers provide us a deep insight into history through their books written as accounts of what they came across during their journey to India they have recorded everything good or bad they have experienced archaeological sources archaeological is a specialized science dealing with the material remains of past civilizations sources of archaeology include the remains of buildings pottery weapons ornaments etc number 1 coins coins have give given useful information regarding the states of polity and economy during the sultanate and the mughal period epigraphy sources inscriptions are of greater use of for the pre mughal than for the mughal period the regions of the bengal sultanates shamsuddin firoz alauddin firoz and the nizam shahi king burhan have been established by studying inscriptions alone the inscriptions that reveal india's medieval history through light on the political aspects as well as the social life contact with foreigners during 700 and 1750 ad 
a number of peoples such as the arab the turk the mughal the chinese and the europeans came to the subcontinent being attracted by its wealth among such political groups were the early muslim invaders like muhammad of ghazni and muhammad ghori they were followed by other turk who founded the delhi sultanate the delhi sultanate was uprooted by a new group of people from central asia known as mughal who established the mughal empire in 1526 ad besides these foreign groups come regional groups such as sikh marathas ahoms jat and kayas also emerged during this period which were politically important in the later medieval period religious traditions really religion played a predominant role in the medieval indian society in the period major developments in religious tradition and important changes took place in hinduism buildings temples became an important activity among the hindu rulers the rulers also patronized learned brahman and granted them tax free land thus many brahmans became wealthy and powerful as a challenge to this brahman king grouping a major development took place in the form of the emergence of the idea of bhakti the bhakti movement attracted people from all sections of society this was also the period when a new religion called islam appeared in india the merchants and migrants first brought the teaching of the holy quran to india another tradition that came from west asia was the sufi tradition the bhakti and the sufi sant preach the equality of all mankind thank you students we will meet you again our next chapter